dear students welcome to the classes of logic circuit design in the third semester electronics and communication engineering we begin our study of the number systems with the familiar decimal number system the decimal number system contains 10 unique symbols that is 0 to 9 the 9 is not visible in the screen that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 6 7 8 and 9 since counting in a decimal involves 10 symbols we say that its base or radius is 10 that is if a number is 32 we say it is 32 that is the base or radius is 10 it is the meaning there is no symbol for its base that is for 10 and it is a position weighting system the value attached to a symbol depends on its location with respect to the decimal point and each symbol in the number is called a digit that is if a number is 3 2 1 or something each symbol in the number is called a digit then the lsd and the msd that is least significant digit and the most significant digit for example if a number is 1 2 3 3 is the least significant digit that is lsd and 1 is the most significant digit that is msd The first digit to the left of the decimal point has a weight 10 raised to 0, second digit 10 raised to 1 and so on. For example, if a number is 321.2, the first the first digit to the left of the decimal point, it is the decimal point and the first digit to the left of the decimal point has a weight of 10 raised to 0 this one has a weight of 10 raised to 0 the 2 has a weight of 10 raised to 1 3 has a weight of 10 raised to 3 likewise 2 has a this 2 has a weight of 10 raised to minus 1 next is 10 raised to minus 2 and so on the first digit to the right of the decimal point has a weight of 1 by 10 or 10 raised to minus 1. Second digit is 1 by 100 or otherwise 10 raised to minus 2. Then for an example, consider the decimal number 9256.26 using the digit 2569. This is a mixed number hence we can write 9 into 10 raised to 3 that is this 9 this 9 has a 10 raised to 3 2 has 10 raised to 2 and 5 has 10 raised to 1 and so on likewise 9 into 10, 9 into 10 raised to 3 plus 2 into 10 square plus 5 into 10 raised to 1 plus 6 into 10 raised to 0 plus 2 into 1 by 10 or 2 into 10 raised to minus 1 plus 6 into 10 raised to minus 2 next example Consider another number 6592.69 using the same digit 2569. Here 6 into 10 raised to 3 plus 5 into 10 square plus 9 into 10 raised to 1 plus 2 into 10 raised to 0 plus, plus 6 into 10 raised to minus 1 plus 9 into 10 raised to minus 2 and so on. That is all about the basics of the decimal number system. Here we are going to the other main topic the 9s and 10s complement. The 9s and 10s complement is a very important topic in the logic circuit design in the first module. That is, you have to use this 9s and 10s complement in many other problems. The 9s complement of a decimal number is obtained by subtracting each digit of the decimal from 9. For example, if a number is 1, 2, 3. If a number is 1, 2, 3. And I have to... I have a question that is find out the 9's complement of this 1, 2, 3. You just minus 9, 9, 9, 
to 1, 2, 3. That is 9, 9 minus 1, 2, 3 equal to 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 1, 8. This 8, 7, 6 is the ninth complement of 1, 2, 3. Likewise, uh, example, in the first problem, 3, 4, 6, 5, the solution is 9, 9, 9, 9 minus 3, 4, 6, 5. That is answer is 6, 5, 3, 4. Just minus from the 9. That is the ninth complement. The second example, 7, 8, 2.54. Solution is 9, 9, 9.99 minus 782.54. That is the ninth complement. And third example also likewise, you just study the three examples of the ninth complement. That is simply the minus from the 9. Then we have to study the tenth complement. The tenth complement of a decimal number is obtained by adding a 1 to its ninth complement. For example, if a number is 1, 2, 3 and the question is find out the tenth complement of 1, 2, 3. First you minus it from the 9 9 9 9 the answer is 9 minus 3 6 9 minus 2 7 and 9 minus 1 8 8 7 6 is the ninth complement of 1 2 3 to find out the tenth complement you just add 1 to the ninth complement that is 8 7 6 plus 1 that is 8 7 and 7 it is the tenth complement of this question so the first example 4069 solution is 9999 minus 4069 the answer is 5930 that is the ninth complement only in order to get the tenth complement you just add 1 to the ninth complement and answer is 5931 another example 1056.074 you again minus it from the 9 the answer is 8943.925 then it is a ninth complement you just add one the answer is 8943.926 another next method is the ninth complement method of subtraction the previous step we have to study the ninth complement method of addition in the next step we have to um, know the ninth complement method of subtraction in the ninth complement method of subtraction First, we have to know what is a subtrahend and what is a minuend. First step is obtain the ninth complement of subtrahend and add it to the minuend. Second, call this number the intermediate result. First of all, we have to take the ninth complement of subtrahend and then add it to the minuend. A result is occur and this result is called the intermediate result. That intermediate result in the in that intermediate result. If there is a carry, it indicates that the answer is positive. If there is a carry occurs, this carry, just add this carry to the LSD of this result and get the answer. If there is no carry, it indicates the answer is negative. The intermediate result is its ninth complement. That is, then take the ninth complement of this result and take a negative sign in front of get the answer. Then we are moving to the examples. Question number 1. 745.81 minus 436.62. In this example, first of all, we have to take the ninth complement. Before that, we have to know what is subtraction and what is a minuend. In this example, this 4362 is the subtraction. And 745.81 is the minuend. So, first the first step, just find out the ninth complement of subtrahend. That is 999.99 minus 436.62. The answer is 563.37. From the theory part, the sec just note the second point. Call this number the intermediate result. That is this 563.37 is the intermediate result. Then add this intermediate result with the minuend. That is, then add this 563.37 with this 745.81. That is the ninth complement of 436.62 with 745.81. We get a carry. The carry means just add it 
that is 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 3 11 5 plus 3 8 plus 1 9 6 plus 4 10 balance 1 7 plus 5 12 plus 1 13 that in the 13 that is this one is the carry the theory part we already studied third step if there is a carry it indicates that the answer is positive that is a carry is occurs in this problem and and we already know the answer is positive the add the carry to the lsd of this result to get the answer lsd the least significant digit is the 8 and add this one to this 8 and we get answer is 309.19 to cross check the result you just minus 745.81 minus 436.62 just in a calculator or something then we get answer is 309.19 the second example 436.62 minus 745.81 the procedure is same like but we have to minus a smaller number to larger number a smaller number from a larger number that is nines complement of 745.81 equal to first we you have to know we have to know the nines complement of 745.81 this step this step 745.81 nines complement take the nines complement 999.99 minus 745.81 the answer is 254.18 then this 254.18 is a intermediate result that is the ninth complement then so that that is stored the intermediate result that is the ninth complement of 745.81 then we have to add this ninth complement with the 43 6.62 the answer is 690.80 that is a intermediate result with no carry in the theory part we already know the sixth point if there is no carry it indicate the answer is negative if there is no that is no carry in the result and the answer is negative but the answer we get is only the there is no carry indicating that the answer is negative. So take the ninth complement of intermediate result and put a minus sign. That is if a carry occur, we again take the ninth complement of this result. That is 999.99 minus 690.80. And we get answer is 309.19. And we just put a minus symbol six symbol in front of this 309.19. To cross check the result, you just minus 436.62 minus 745.81 the answer is minus 309.19 next is the tenth complement method of subtraction the procedure is almost same like the ninth complement method of subtraction obtain the tenth complement of subtrahend and add to the minimum if there is a carry ignore it in in the tenth complement method of subtraction if a carry occurs we just ignore it but in the ninth complement method, if a carry occurs, you just add the carry to the LSD. Second, third point, the presence of the carry indicate that the answer is positive. If there is no carry, answer is negative. And the result obtained is the tenth complement. Obtain the tenth complement of the result and place a negative sign in front of the answer. First example, 2928.54 minus 416.73. The solution is, first we have to take the tens complement of 416.73 in order to take the tens complement of 4163 416.73 you have to take the ninth complement that is 999.99 minus 0416.73 the answer is 9583.26 that is a ninth complement to get the tens complement just add 1 to the ninth complement that is 9583.27 is the tenth complement in the tenth complement then we add the tenth complement result to the minuend this is the minuend 2928.54 is the minuend and 416.73 is the subtrahend 
Then add the tens complement 9583.27 with 2928.54. A carry occurs in the result. Carry is 1, that is 7 plus 4, 11. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. 8 plus 2, 10 plus 1, 11. 9 plus 5, 15, 1. Carry 9 plus 2, 11, 12. That is, this is 1 is the carry, this 1 is the carry occurs in the addition. We already know, a carry occurs, just ignore the carry and the answer is positive. That is, 2511.81. That is the answer. In the second example, 416.73 minus 2928.54. The solution, first we have to take the 9th complement. 9999.99 minus 2928.54. That is, we have to know we have to know the ninth complement of the subtrahend. Answer is 7071.45. Then, in order to get the tenth complement, just add one to the ninth complement. The answer is 7071.46. Then, if there is no carry, indicating that the answer is negative. So, this answer is in the tenth complement method. That is, that means, this answer is again in the tenth complement method. In order to get the answer, we again take the tenth complement of this answer. That is, 9999.99 minus 7488.19. Answer is 2511.80. That is the ninth complement. In order to get the tenth complement, just add 1. That is, 2511.81. And in the theory part, we already know, no carry indicating that the answer is negative. So, take the tenth complement of the intermediate result and put a minus sign. And we just add and, and which just we put a minus sign that is minus 2511.81. That is the answer. That is all about the tenth complement method of subtraction.